Next question. Let's do it. I'm glad you used that mount escape, by the way. Check. Do you have any advice on consoling a member of your team that you're leading who knows they're to blame for the project failing or um, falling through? The person in question is a great worker, but just made an honest mistake that cost that caused the failure of the project. I feel extremely guilty for putting my job at risk and I can't convey to them enough that I understand it was an honest mistake and that I personally failed to communicate enough with them. I think it's a great thing this person is so passionate at their job, but is there any way I can get them to distance themselves and show them that this one failure is not that big of a deal? So, um, yeah, like, like the, the question says, it's cool that you got somebody that's passionate, right? That's great. And it sounds like they want to take ownership and that's great too. It sounds like they are having trouble moving on. So in this case, no, no major complication. This is not that big of a deal. You just got to talk them through it. And for me, I would use probably some kind of, you know, some stories, a real simple one is like about parachuting. And if you're parachuting, one of the main training points when you're parachuting and something goes wrong is you don't get focused on just trying to fix the bad shoot mm. because that's what gets people killed. They're looking up. They think maybe they can save the shoot. They think they can make it open somehow. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, they hit the ground, right? And they die. So what they do is they, they teach you that, hey, you got a bad shoot, you know, you pull your main parachute and it doesn't open correctly, you take a look at it, you go, okay, is this thing gonna open or not? You make a decision and then you cut it away and it's gone. Mm. And you focus on the next thing, which is getting your reserve parachute to come out to save your life. Mm -hmm. The one that didn't open doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. So move on. You can think about it like a, uh, like a shooting competition too, because it's the same thing. Y you, when you're shooting, you don't want to shoot. You don't want to think about the last shot that you just missed, and you don't want to think about the next shot that's a hard shot or a far shot. Or you don't want to think about those other shots. You want to think about the shot that you're taking. <laughs> that's the one that you want to think about. And if you're getting caught in the past, it's going to ruin what you're trying to do in the present. So you you know you have to move on. This is something that you, this you know you got to explain to your employee. That's get you like listen. I understand that you that you had a rough time. If you can't let that go, it's going to screw up the project we're working on now. So let's let that go. Let's move on. So that's what I'd say to him. I'd say, listen, look, buddy. I know this one went bad. I get it. You feel bad. Appreciate it. It's over. It's in the past. Let's take the lessons learned, and we got to move on. Let's not dwell on yesterday. If we dwell on yesterday, it takes our focus off of today and tomorrow, which are the things we can actually control. Mm -hmm. We can actually control what we're doing today. We can actually control what we're going to do tomorrow. We don't have any control over what happened yesterday. That's mm -hmm. gone. So what I need you to do is focus on this mission now and making sure we execute it 100%. That, that sense of control or that access to control over, over a situation, mm -hmm. that's so critical to... To know when you're in that position, because to like, know what to know that that you can you, control it. Yeah, to, to have it on the what front you of your can mind, and cannot what control. you can and can yeah. control. Yeah, to, to like I said, have access to that because it feels as far as feelings go, it feels like use the parachute analogy. Um, it feels like dang, th there's the problem. The parachute, mm. that's the problem. So all my attention and all my emotional um, energy and is 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 on that. That's the problem. But like how you said, if you just under just focus on the fact that hey, I can't control that bad shoot, that bad shoot is gone. It's you know, and cut, you cut it, it away. away, and yeah, focus on the thing. But like I said, man, that's the that's the key right there to understand that man, you don't you don't have control over that anymore. We're done with that. We're not doing that anymore. Yeah, we're doing this new stuff. And you know, I should have said that on the last one about talking about breaking rules. I said business. I said life. I forgot to say combat. Mm -hmm. But combat's the same way. If you get yeah. stuck in a standard operating procedure and you won't see your way out of it, you're going you're gonna to pay. And it's the same thing in combat. If you make one bad decision on the battlefield mm -hmm. and now you start dwelling on that bad decision, you got to forget about that. you got to move on. you got to move forward. So, you know, l the only reason you look back is to just assess the lessons learned you're going to take away from it and then turn back around and look forward. Don't yeah. get sucked into the past and get drowned and pulled back there because you can't control it. You can't change what happened. Yeah. Move on, buddy. That other question, the black and white mine one, 
um, or you breaking your own rules, your one rule. Mm -hmm. Kind of like um, on, on Ghostbusters, one, don't cross the streams. You ever watch Ghostbusters? Yeah. Same thing, man. But then they had to eventually. Right. They had to cross the streams, streams to kill that, the, the demon. Yeah. Demon You're lady. reaching, man. I think you actually intentionally tried to do this. That was a little reach. <laughs> that was a little reach. No. <laughs> those like, are understandable terms. Okay. 